Hello and welcome to our virtual outreach presentations. My name is Dave Bush and I am the director of the Charles and Helen Reichert Planetarium at the Vanderbilt Museum located in Centerport, New York, Long Island. Having a team of astronomy educators and planetarium presenters, we are excited to bring space related themes and topics to you. If you'd like to learn more about our facility, visit our website at vanderbiltmuseum.org and like us on Facebook and Instagram. If you like this program, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Today, I'm going to talk about how to use a telescope. Perhaps you just received a telescope, or maybe you've had one lying around for quite some time and you're finally ready to learn how to use it. Well, there's some very basic things that I would like to go over with you today so that you can start using it right away. Let's get started. Okay, telescopes come in a vast array of shapes and sizes and different colors but they all essentially do the same thing. You point the telescope at an object in the sky and it will make it appear bigger. So how it does that, it collects the light towards the back of the telescope into an eyepiece. The eyepiece is actually what does the magnification. We'll come back to that in a second. The first thing that you want to do is locate your finder scope that is attached to the main telescope. Finder scopes can either be a little laser red dot finder that is pointed at the sky or a circle. The other type of finder scope looks like a smaller little miniature telescope that is attached to the larger main telescope. You want to be able to align this finder scope with the main telescope. In order to do this, I would recommend that you do it during the daytime. Find an object that's way off in the distance that's fixed and does not move. Look through your finder scope and try and center that object compared to what's in the main telescope. So the point is, you need to find that object in both the finder scope and the main scope and make sure that they're both looking at the same thing. If they're not, you have to loosen the adjustment screws and move your finder scope around until it's perfectly aligned with the main telescope. Once your finder scope is aligned with the main telescope, then you're ready to begin. The next thing you want to do is locate your eyepieces. Usually telescopes come with two eyepieces, one with a larger number and one with a smaller number. The larger number is the one that you want to use first. This is measured in millimeters, typically. This one says 25 millimeters, so I'm going to use that one first. The other one is 9 millimeters. We can use that later if we want to make things look bigger. So what you do is you take your eyepiece and drop it into the back of the telescope in something called the star diagonal lock it down and then you'll be able to look through it and find that object in the sky. If you have aligned your finder scope with the main eyepiece, then you're ready to begin. One of the first objects that I would recommend finding is the moon. The moon is absolutely amazing if it's out there at night. Now there are filters that we can screw into the backs of the eyepieces that will make the moon not appear so bright. The moon can be very bright at night through a telescope. And if you happen not to have a moon filter, it's okay just to use a pair of sunglasses and that will get you well on your way. So grab your telescope, align your finder scope to the main telescope, and then you're ready to begin observing. Have fun. Well, there you have it. That is the end of today's program. We hope you enjoyed our first in a series of virtual outreach programs, and we'll see you again real soon.